Like this part is a haiku called the diamond. Like this part is a haiku called the diamond. Diamonds are looking, diamonds are looking for food, hunting for flesh meat. But that poem is an animal relation poem. The cute cat crying, the bird with a booted voice, monkey dancing, the human who catch fish. Hello everyone. It is noonish. Twelve past noon. This chair. My only complaint is that it kind of clicks. So I think that was like a me putting it together issue and I need to flip it over and look because <laughs> I'm not good at putting things together. But I love it. So anyway, it was poetry day, as you saw, <clears throat> very cute. Everybody read two poems each and <clears throat> us three moms brought in cookies in advance. It's raining again, so the itch was back this morning <clears throat> and the phlegm is back. It's never the grass is all mush and mushrooms and just non-stop rain every weekend especially it loves to give us like a few sunny days at the beginning of the week and then rain but yeah i took Jax to school early it's kind of when we used to go but i wanted to get to the school the middle school by 10 30 so i had time to get to the elementary school no later than 10.45 because I was thinking that parking would be an issue and definitely was. There were people parked all over the grass <clears throat> when I came back out. I got one of the last spots in the very back lot. But <clears throat> the room moms and I, there's like one kind of unofficial room mom <laughs> that does everything so she should be official. She just kind of takes the lead and I offer to help. She's like, I did it already because she has an older son and she reuses the things that they did the previous year, <clears throat> but she's amazing. So we went in early and set up the cookies and lemonade and we had a good amount of cookies. There were some extras. I did buy 30 bucks. We definitely didn't need one because somebody bought the exact same snickerdoodles I did, but the fancy cookies, you know, those tea cookies that were they're made out of presses, I have like a cookie press, and some will have the top chocolate dip. They're like shortbread cookies, sprinkles. Those are popular because they're all, they're fancy. How can you say no to a fancy cookie? But how many parents were there? Maybe parents for half the kids. And there's about 23 students, I think. <clears throat> so, First you have cookies and lemonade and look over the poetry notebook that your child has made and I also asked to see the notebooks of two of the kids sitting near me who did not have parents there. I know them all from lunch shift so it was fun seeing theirs as well. They were so proud of them and then they just went I think in they have like class number class numbers assigned to them in session 17. So they went in class number order with the exception of some who did partner poems. So two of them would come up at the same time and take turns reading the lines, which was extra cute. And then I just came home. I could really use a trip to the store for a few things. Did not feel it. <laughs> so. I came home. I am making, I just made some lunch. Some black beans and rice and put some Tabasco and some citrus garlic seasoning. 
and I have lip on chips. And I'm just gonna be on my computer for a little bit. I know the day's gonna go fast, but that's okay, because it's a weekday. Weekdays can go fast. It's allowed. But I hope you're having a good day. Oh, the birdie laid the egg last night. Let me show you, right here. Danny came in and looked for too long. Sorry, I have post nasal drip. <coughs> it's so gross. It's better than a runny nose from a cold. I will say that. I'm so glad that my allergies don't make my nose run. Knock on wood. Danny came in kind of late, and I don't know, it was like 11, maybe? 10 or 11. And looked for too long at the bird. <laughs> they like made extended eye contact. So he, whichever bird was on the desk flew. And I took that opportunity to go out and film the eggs. So yay, there's two. Okay, but I was expecting that they'd go back to flying away every time we pass by now. But no. Whoever was on the nest this morning has stayed on the nest. I did see on the cameras there was maybe a shift change around 5.45 a.m. haven't seen anything else in the birdie zone. <laughs> I made a camera zone for it called the birdie zone. I haven't seen anything else since then. But yeah, I have gone to school and back. And I just went out and watered the plants. I didn't water the strawberry plant. I'm not sure. I, I would like to get them used to that, but I can also just wait and maybe try later now that they've seen me out there messing with plants. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to eat my lunch and I hope you're having a fabulous day. Hello everyone, I'm at the bus stop. Why do I hear rain, but I don't feel rain? There's a lot of construction going on. They're repaving, fixing sidewalks, but also the birdies are loud. But I hear raindrops. I'm trying to see if I can see any. Not near me, maybe in the street. So weird mystery invisible rain. We're gonna try to water the strawberry plant. I think the bird will fly away. But if they're doing 12 hour shifts, it's almost mama's turn. So hopefully the eggs won't be unattended for long. But let's see what happens.
Hello friends, we are getting ready for bed. The birdies are all well. We just had a thunderstorm, but they're safe and cozy and dry because they're under our porch all the way up against the house. So no rain is getting to them unless it was like a hurricane. But mommy bird seemed to have arrived for her shift at around 5.45. Daddy bird arrived for his ship. This, oh, sorry. Daddy's taking the garbage out and Piggy's not happy about it. So let me close the door so it's not quite so loud. But yeah, Daddy bird arrived at 5.45 a.m. this morning. They were two minutes off from 12 hours, which is just insane. <laughs> but yeah, mommy seems more nervous. So when I checked on her, she looked like she almost wanted to leave. Daddy, cool as a cucumber. I was able to water the plant. I didn't go near his face. I just watered near his booty. But hopefully the strawberry plant will appreciate that and grow up some more, give them more protection. But yeah, I'm working on this sweater. As you saw me try it on, it's pretty much a shrug or something like a super cropped one they sell sweaters like that and i'm really excited about it it will need shoulders to be knitted but i got inspired to do this because i saw a granny square sweater oh that actually had a good neckline i keep not like liking the necklines because it'll be like too high and straight or they'll do like triangle half Granny squares it just look really weird. But I saw one that came across like that with the granny squares. And then this is solid, just rows of solid. And then it had a collar. I don't know if I'd do the collar or if I'd just go around and keep it boat neck, but close it up a little. But yeah, I was inspired. Oh, my tongue is starting to hurt from talking. Oh, it feels strained. It's like hard to talk. Yeah, it's going up. I might have to take my allergy medicine early. <sighs> I'm ready for allergy season to be done. I'm really suffering here. <laughs> I started to feel good yesterday because we had two days dry, <clears throat> but it's supposed to rain the whole weekend. I think he's done with his barking. There's my cow, which I still haven't painted. Sorry, I closed the door because the dog was... Yeah, it's fine. Do water. And this is the real one. Yeah, do water. It's fine. You can try a few times, especially because you have the donut around it. It won't dissolve right away. He's taking a Benadryl. Down the hatch. I can't Get it further back. Not too much water then. Try a little less. Just normal. You're swallowing a bite of food. It's too much water if you can't even close your mouth. Anyway, tomorrow I get the kids to school and Danny has a day off, so I'm assuming he'll stay in bed. Uh, you got it? I can't do it. Alright, take it out of your mouth for a moment and take a break. Just take a break. I'm gonna say goodnight to everybody. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Stay safe, be kind, and don't forget, wash your hands.